Okay, so now I'm going to add a drop down where I'm going to changing my value. I don't want to play around with this uh, URL, right? Because our customer wouldn't know that uh, how to change the language from the URL. So that's why it's good practice to add a drop down where customer will change this using UI, right? So I'm going to do this. Okay, so let's open the welcome blade here. And I'm going to add this uh, out to here, right? Later on, I will uh, improve this design right into a pretty design. But for now, I'm going to add this uh, here. So it will be the select, right? Which is language. And then ID should be also language. And the option would be first would be disabled and selected shows that choose language okay and then next would be the uh, here en for the english right and you can display multiple languages if you have in your database for french and here i'm going to mention the french right save this one and let's get refresh to see the output it's look like this one so let me add some margin uh, top and margin left property so just add this uh, margin margin top 20 oh, px and margin left or maybe text line center would help us text line center right save this one and let's get refresh and yes now it looks fine right and now i want to change the language for example if i will click on this english so i want to change the language in the english then if i will click on this french so i want to change this content into the french so how i can do this so simply uh, just to uh, basically i'm going to uh, submit this through the jquery right because uh, here uh, on the change event if i want to send this on the server side and it handle the change event and i'm going to handle this using this language right so simply go here and add a script here and first check that i'm going to do this with the jquery and i will also add the jquery cdn at the top let me do this first jquery jquery cdn okay first one with your release.jquery.com is our official website again i'm going to use a mini fired just copy this it's copied go back and to paste it here at the top okay and then here i'm going to first to check that my document is ready then perform any of the operation so document dot document dot to ready okay and this would be uh here and here I'm going to implement the on change event on change what I want to on change on language so just type this language which we assign this to the drop down here this one language dot to change right so function okay and uh, whenever I'm performing on change I want to test this so is it working or not so let's get refresh and change any of the language and yes it's working fine right and now i want to perform my logic i want to submit this on the first i want to get the language right for example i'm on the i clicked on the en so i want to get the en right so just to hear um, variable or we can also say this into the let let and do let english oh not english let language equal this dot value so it will uh, pull the value of uh, link uh, of drop down right which is selected so here i'm going to uh, test this out is it getting the value so just click on this french yes getting the fr okay fine now i want to submit this on the server right so let's create our first uh, uh, route so here this one is a route which is slash route 
and let me assign him a name i'm going to use this same url because i want to translate to this page right okay let me assign this uh, name like uh, site dot home right if you have multiple routes we can differentiate between public routes and the uh, and the administrator or user route so that's why i named this site right site dot home okay uh, let's go back here i'm going to now submit this on uh, i'm going to basically submit this so let me uh, submit this on a window window dot to location dot href and then equal and here we need the route right where we want to redirect so i want to uh, redirect on the site dot home site dot home this one and then with the with the value of this language i want to also add this in the url so just add plus sign and then add a slash and question mark language equal and then plus and here just type the language so basically we are concatenating this language basically this will return this uh, uh, translation app dot test and then i want to add a slash and question mark and then this language and equal and after this equal i want to get the dynamic value of this one right so let's get refresh and yes so let's choose uh, english so the url is so uh, language equal en and then this one is translated in the english so if i choose this french so this one language is changed with the french and it's now uh, translated in the french right so in this way you can translate your language right so we don't need to play around with this one we have our custom oops why it's showing the both english ah because i clicked on this so that's why it's um, uh, translated them in the english right so now it's fine we are displaying in the french that's awesome and uh, we are setting its locale we are changing it using the drop down these translations are working fine if you want to display another language you can right you can add it there here in the directory for example if you want to add arabic you can add here arabic too it's totally up to you and by, uh, you can also manage these translations using the database which is a little bit tricky so i will uh, cover this in the next video that how you can uh, add this uh, add these translations using the database right and uh, i'm going to follow with the proper structure how you can create the language table see the default languages then i'm going to translate those languages right uh, based on their content so thank you so much for watching the video and if you think that it's uh, added some value in your career so subscribe the channel and share it with your friends so i will meet you in the next one bye bye